Beautiful, don't you think? What? The sunrise. Terrific. Gravity is a never seen before experience and I would like to know if that kind of huge movies could be a way to bring people back in the theaters. I mean, most of the time now they're, they're watching on iPads and small screen and do you think your movie and some, some others like Pacific Rim could help? I think, I mean, the idea from the beginning with this movie was to create an immersive experience. Uh, we really wanted the art, the, the the movie, the camera to kind of be the the eyes for the audience, as if they were almost like a third astronaut in the story. So, since the beginning, the original title of Gravity was Gravity: A Space Adventure in 3D, because we knew it was very important to have this immersive experience. In a way, the idea was to create this roller coaster type of ride, where through the roller coaster, the audience would engage in an emotional level with the character and where the whole ride would become a metaphor for something bigger so yeah in a sense at least a movie like gravity i think it's an experience you have to watch on 3d in a movie theater well people are going to movie theaters uh, truth of the matter is that the box offices are as stronger than ever unfortunately uh, there are not amazing movies around and people are not going necessarily to amazing films. But, but yeah, the, the, the sad truth is that uh, maybe box office is bigger than ever, but in a very limited kind of, kind of films. The, the time in which world cinema and more specialized cinema was uh, uh, in vogue has kind of declined. What was the relationship with the, with the studio and the producers? I mean, it took five years to, to make the movie. It was quite difficult. and it's probably difficult to, to sell a, a story of two characters lost in space to a producer. So what was the relationship with them and how it works? I'm really grateful with the studio because uh, since the beginning when, you know, when we did the script we knew that we were doing a very a huge bet, doing a movie with two characters in space where the whole story got told with very few dialogues and it was just pure action. and. Uh, in a sense, I'm very grateful to the studio because they supported us blindly. They took the story and they, it took four years because technology-wise, there were many years of development to figure out the right technology to do the movie and they invested and they supported us while we, they, they were developing that technology without even questioning us. Well, the, the relation with the producer was absolutely terrible because the producer is myself. <laughs> so, I, I, so that was a bit... Uh, uh, and and what about the studio? Uh, the relation with the studio was fantastic. I have to say that is one strange case in which the studio was completely supporting and very patient, uh, oddly patient. You know, um, the, uh, the the expression in the film Houston in the Blind is expression that is being used in uh, in, in space exploration by, by the NASA. You know, that means that when there's they, there's a loss of communication. And the studio was in the blind for many, many years. They invest so much money uh, in new technology than in a shoot, and for for many years they couldn't see any any results. Not because I didn't want to show them; it's just that I, we couldn't show any results. Then later on, um, we have a release date last November, and we couldn't get you know we couldn't finish on time, and the studio asked, you know, if we needed one or two more months, and says, well, no, pretty much one more year. And they were not excited, and they were not thrilled, but, but they supported the whole thing. You, you co-wrote the movie with your, with your father. How the relationship with him has evolved? I mean, you spent five years through the whole process. How was it? Just, I mean, I guess uh, we've worked on screenplays together before, and it's working with him is a great relationship. When we sit down together, we stop being father and son, and we become 
two collaborators, two collaborators that know each other very well, so that makes it very easy. And uh, Particular Gravity was a beautiful experience because we it's a movie about adversities and the whole process was a set of adversities that we overcame together and I were like you know the metaphor of the movie the idea is that through adversities you grow and I think this project was so complicated in all levels that like it was a great learning experience just if you can, can tell me about your relationship with Emmanuel Lubes Lubeski, uh, how you work with him, and what kind of improvement did you do on the light stage compared to uh, Benjamin Button? Well, the, um, the, 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 the relationship, relationship with Chivo, we go back, Chivo we call Emmanuel Lubeski, we go back to some since teenage years and then film school. And uh, it's almost a telepathic uh, communication in which um, we have developed pretty much the same concerns about cinema and, and we share uh, a same inquirement about cinema so um, uh, and, and, and I enjoy that he works well he's not working with me that I work do a movie once in a while he gets to he gets to work with people like like Malik so it's not so bad to only bring all the all the information that he comes from over there and apply it in our own work. Um, in terms of you were asking the the, the light stage, uh, light stage we use light stage minimally because uh, I mean it was a, an important tool for the whole uh, for the whole thing, but it was the film was not based in light stage. Actually, uh, the actors in our film uh, in its I don't know, 97% of, of, of whenever you see the actors are the real actors, as opposed to light stage, that is renderings of faces. So um, we use it maybe even less than 90, 97, uh, 3%, you know. Uh, we use the light stage, it's very helpful. It was very helpful, but we use, it was one of the many technologies that we, that we use to create the film. Uh, I would like to know, were you inspired by other science, uh, not space movies like uh, The Right Stuff or Apollo 13? Because Ed Harris, who's providing the voice of the NASA in the movie, mm -hmm. is, is in every day of, of this movie, in The Right Stuff, in Apollo 13. So was it an homage and do you think of them while writing? Well, well, f funny enough, like I love the right stuff. I love Apollo 13. I watched those two movies growing up and I always wanted to be an astronaut. But funny enough, when we came up with this movie, we never thought of space movies. We thought more of movies like Duel, Spielberg's first film, uh, Runaway Train, A Man Escapes, uh, Conan and Morte de Chappé by Bresson, which w what those movies have in common is that they're movies where the story is very simple, there's very few dialogues, it's just a straight suspense thriller, but where the actions become a metaphor for something bigger. So when we, saw the, when we started writing Gravity, we wanted to do something like that, where a movie of a character stranded in space, but where space and her situation became a metaphor for the adversities in life and for for the existential void almost. The vacuum in space became a metaphor for like her, the character's own existential void. Would you define Gravity as a live action or animation movie? Uh, I describe it as a film. <laughs> because what I, wanted, what I want to hear is uh, you talking about the virtual cinema. What, what are the advantages, the problems with the freedom of the camera? Well, it's all of this stuff, the virtual and computer-generated imagery, those are tools, but those are tools for a bigger purpose. That is the cinematic experience that you want to bring. You know, so uh, I, I, I believe that exists the technologies. What I don't believe is necessarily a branding cinema. You know, it's a, uh, yes, in terms of techniques, it's a, in, in, pretty much the film is the worst case scenario of an animation, the worst case scenario of a live action film, and, a, and the worst case scenario of a visual effects film, all put together in, a, in the worst case scenario of a blender. Would you, would you, are you interested in writing your, your own story and directing him, it, them? Sorry. Well, when we started writing Gravity, it was actually because I showed my dad a script that I had written that I'm going to direct next year. And when he read it, it's, that's when we started talking about the possibility of doing movies in the style of that script that I had written, which is very 
simple narratives with full suspense and where the action becomes a metaphor for for something bigger and where you don't rely on that dialogues to talk about things and you just more use visual metaphors to talk about them. Uh, you're working on a TV show called Believe and I know that you're going to direct the first episode. I would like to know what's your implication in the, in the process and how will you work on the next episode after the first one? Well, I work with... Um, I, I, I wrote the... the I, I created the show uh, w w uh, with Mark Friedman and then I directed the pilot. Um, and by uh, so I, I did that it was a lot of fun I have never done TV it was very fast after gravity it took four and a half years to do something that in three months you were in and out <laughs> you know writing screenplay and shooting the pilot and being out of it it was uh, it was actually pretty good it was a lot of fun and now uh, you know I'm I'm a, a, there's an amazing group of writers and a showrunner is taking over the show uh, I partnered with J.J. Abrams, so with Bad Robot, that they, they know how to do TV. Uh, you know, I have full trust in them. So you, you won't write or direct next episodes? Not, not write in the next, not, not write uh, anytime soon. You know, I, I get involved sometimes with, uh, with the writers in terms of ideas and stuff. And to direct, I, I don't know if probably later down in the in the in the in the in the season I, I would do something, but right now it's impossible between gravity, the promotion, and the, and writing the screenplay that I want to do next. Of course, gracias. Thanks.